Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and I have been procrastinating most of the morning and so I figured if I just turn my video on, maybe I will come up with something that I want to do. As you can see, this has not progressed, um, but I wanted to look at my two pages. So these are my two pages so far and we're on to the third one, which... I hope I haven't got it wrong, Sarah, because I asked you and you haven't answered me. You must be playing hockey or something. Um, I think it's Christmas Christmas tree or snowflake. So I'm going to do Christmas tree. Um, this is my little base here. And I, I have just such a mishmash of things in my head that I am struggling getting started. So I thought maybe... I will have a look at some background fabrics. Let's bring the basket over. I'd love to use this fabric somewhere too. I love it. Could put it across there. Let's just play around with the fabrics in the background. Just maybe I would like that with that. Um, I usually do collage my fabrics together. I uh, Sometimes the last time I, I don't want that with it, the last time I did do um, one piece of fabric, but I think this time I might go back and do a collage background. And I don't know what colour I'm going to do my tree. That's pretty. Um, I've just got a whole big mess here. As I said, I'm very confused. So it could be a very um, sort of all over the place video. Now, I don't think there's anything. I'm just going through. Oh, there's images. Just going through this pile here. That's a badly stamped one. Uh, to see if there's anything here that I might like to use in my background. See, I could go blue and green. Well, that's pretty. I think I like that. And then I need to get a Christmas tree on there. Now, I'm debating whether to do a traditional colour. Oh, I like that. Traditional colour Christmas tree or go wild. I could do a, um antique piece of quilt. Can you see? Yes. Christmas tree. Um, I could use my painted fabric as my Christmas tree. I quite liked this one. Now that's not working very well with that. So I could come in and slip something. I did also consider this for my Christmas tree, but not if I'm going to do the green background. I considered that. Um, I do have some printed images here. I have, I do have a tree, like a Christmas looking tree. Um, let me see if I can find, I thought this image here is lovely and you could embroider that with the sparkle arcles that would be good as your Christmas tree um, no I don't have the Christmas tree here I don't think I don't have it nope no I do not so I won't be using that but there were some of you may have received the printed out image and it's a Christmas tree uh, I do have a snowflake so I could actually add on the snowflake as my prompt you know in my uh, you know have both prompts and I don't think I have stamped Christmas trees at all I have a wreath I'm just trying to see if there's anything else so we could go really clash feel and have a bit of everything in there um, or not I'm wondering about that you probably think I'm totally weird I did have a piece of this I could, I kind of need to separate this fabric from the background. So that's when you come in with other bits. I don't know. Why don't we just sort of play around with the background and then we'll figure out the tree. So I may not get any stitching done today because I am all over the place, all over it. I'm going to just randomly rip a piece of that. I obviously am going down the blue-green road. No, this one doesn't tear. 
So what I do to try and go a little bit straight is just fold it and cut it. I think if I just sort of play around a bit with my pieces here, I may sort of get a feel for it. I could have that nice fluffy edge on the bottom. And I'll trim that off afterwards. So that's that. I was also debating whether or not I might want to do a felted wool Christmas tree, but I did do um, on my previous page a lot of felted wool. So I felt like, um, don't you love it? ripping um i did feel like that might be and i think i'll come over this so that they're not all even even steven yeah i felt like you know we need to sort of switch it up so i could do um just fold this into a christmas tree shape you know what it doesn't even have to have a point at the top because you could um you know, you might put a big pom pom -y thing on there. So it might not work, this one. Maybe I prefer this one. I don't know. Maybe I prefer this. Um, I do love this. Oh, I kind of prefer that. But I liked this because it had all of these details on it. Um, that could be kind of like ornaments. Um, or I could do that. But that's going... Or I could do green. I don't know. Um, where's my scrap? Oh, wait, we haven't had any lacy bits. So let's just keep on. Oh, I love that. Have I used this piece yet? Oh, and our feature is. No, I haven't. Our, this is one of my favourites. It's a very common pattern, I think, but I just love it. This is a very typical sort of composition for me really um put that a bit of red no i don't want red um i think it's a fairly common lace that one but i just love it see i wonder if a pop of something like that under my tree could be nice you know i'm, I'm i am a bit of a weirdo i do do weirdo things sometimes and you know most of the time they turn out for me Not all the time, most of the time. I do love this selvage. It's beautiful Sanderson fabric. Anyway, I think I need to decide my tree, don't I? Then I'll know um, what will go behind it. So our feature, I was telling you about our feature. Our feature is a cluster or tab. Cluster or tab. Or both. You can do both. Nobody's stopping you from doing both. Um, I don't know. So do I want this as my tree? Do I want green as my tree? Um, I was going to be a little bit inspired. I have a Christmas fun ebook. It's a PDF ebook where I did lots of Christmas projects and I used a lot of felted wool. Um, I did use some uh, regular wool. In Italy, we can buy this lovely wool. Um, it's by a company called Rent-A-Link and I don't know that you can buy it. I love that too. Um, oh dear, decisions. Um, it's by Rent-A-Link. I like that one too. I don't want to cut the tree shape out of them until I've kind of decided. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, well I'll pause the video. I was telling you, we can get this um, wool, uh, wool felt that's different to the other, um, the wool felt that you can buy mostly on Instagram, on uh, Etsy or wherever. Um, and it's lovely. So I used a lot of that wool as well. It's quite thick. I've, mum has some. I gave, I've given mum quite a bit of it. So I'm wondering, I'll, I won't stitch that down actually. I need to decide about that. I know it's very clashy, but I'm all about the clashy. If you've seen me in my paper crafting, sometimes I go a bit clashy. So I'm just going to pin all of these down. I'm going to do my invisible stitch. So that'll probably take me 20 minutes to do that. I'm going to put the lace there. That's that's locked in. We'll lock it in. 
and um, and I think I will put this down here. It means nothing, but I like it. It's one of my little ephemera bits that I've printed onto fabric. Onto It's actually on antique hemp, that one. So what I'm going to do is pause the video, stitch all of this down. You've seen me do the invisible stitch a million times, so we're not going to do that on camera. Um, and then I will decide about that piece. I just, you know, it's just a pop of colour. And then I need to decide about my tree. I like that. And you see, because I like it all. And then I've got this. Now, this is um, some felt cord that we can buy by the metre here in Italy. And I thought that would be my garland draping on my tree. I need my tree to be quite big. I want it to be a feature, obviously. Um... And so, yeah, I've got to think about that too. So let me just stop. While I'm stitching this down, I, I will be, my mind does think about things. It does think, you know, things pop into my head. So, I mean, look at that. Oh, little piece of that could be better than the embroidery. See, this is what happens. You keep on looking at your stuff and then things just keep happening. That's why we get confused sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to stitch this down and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I've stitched everything down with the short and long stitch. And I'm trying to decide what do I want to put down as my tree. Um, where's that other? I'm still leaning towards this one. And then adding this as my sort of thing on my tree let me just see what it looks like on this one so you think that i don't know i think i like that other one more yes i do that's a bit dull that one um where did i put the other green fabric i did speak to my sister the prompts all right i didn't make a boo-boo um so that's good i just wanted to come back here to some of the Oh, here's it, this one here, or oh, that one. No. I think I'm going to do, or oh, that was the other choice. Hmm, I like that one too. I'm going to do that one. I'm imagining things on it. That's why I'm going to do it. So, I am just going, I think that's the right way, randomly cut won't take me very long this um this project i don't think so i think i think i'll just fold it like that and then cut my tree out of it i'm not going to go completely flat because i might have something at the top like i'm not going to go to a point so there's my tree it's a bit smaller than what i wanted but anyway i'm going to put that there and it is what it is and let me, oh, I thought I might put, I might put the snowflake there as well. That's my thought. I'm going to bring this down. That's it. I'm going to have the snowflake up there. The stamped snowflake. Ow, I stabbed myself. And I might stitch around that in red, I think. So I'm going to have the stamped snowflake. I'm going to have my tree there. And I'll stitch my tree on. And I'm going to couch this on like that around it and then I'm going to have decoration little some sort of decoration on my tree so that's what I'm going to do so there we go not a very long video today but that's that's my comp my background and my composition and as per usual I will then come back in my background and decide if I'm doing any stitching I like to put my um, more often than not I like to put my thing on first and then decide what I might like to do in my background I did pull out this I did think this could be quite nice there as well. So I haven't decided. That could be a tab. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I think I put that I might put that there. I might not, but I can, you know, I like to decide those things after I've done other things. I, I rejected this. I felt like it's not right, but I like because I saw then I saw the snowflake. So there we go. So I hope you like those prompts. It's Christmas tree or snowflake. Um, if you're not doing Christmas, um, I guess you could do like, uh, yeah, that's, that's those. And then it's cluster or tab.
as well. And I do have a bit of room here for something there. So I'll be doing that in a separate video and so will Sarah. Um, oh, hello. Okay, let's decorate our tree first and not get sidetracked. And I'll be doing that in the next video next week. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.